let's talk about decision criteria. I like to think of decision criteria as a shopping list. Um, but what it really is, is the requirements that our solution is measured against. Um, this can include technical validation, financial justification, and partner selection. And when we talk about the technical side, technical buyers are going to care about functionality, and economic buyers are going to care about business problems. So let's jump into this. So going back to technical criteria, those are the requirements that our solution is measured against, including why do anything, competitive solutions, and doing it internally. Uh, we want decision criteria to be tangible and measurable. So we want to include things like RFPs, proof of concepts, demos, test flights. Uh, financial criteria are based on the business objectives that the economic buyer cares about and should be co-authored with the customer. And these will often be based on a predetermined hurdle rate. So think ROI or payback period. The key is to prove that we can satisfy hurdle rates and that we've done so with other customers in the past. Um, partner criteria answers the question, why buy from you, based on stability, thought leadership, and other holistic differentiators. And these typically become important later in the sales process as the customer is concerned with mitigating risk through the long-term relationship. So we think about GitLab's holistic differentiators here Think about rapid innovation, the fact that we have a new update to our software every month, or that we are open source and everyone can contribute. There aren't many companies, if any, out there in our space that can say they are publishing their product maturity, direction, and roadmap as we are. So that can give your client kind of a feel good about doing business with us in that they really have true insight into what's going on here. Um, it's extremely important that we as salespeople try to understand and influence decision criteria with our differentiators because most technical validations really depend on our ability to compete on competitive differentiation. Um, if we do not address comparative differentiators in a sale, then that could become a unique differentiator in favor of the competition. Um, and finally, we want our differentiators to show value and be defensible via success stories. So let's take a look at our handbook again. We're back at our sales operating procedures page uh, under facilitate the opportunity. And I just want to briefly go over a couple of these here. So we think about step two scoping. I think that when we're aligning with the customer, half the challenge is to identify that customer need and identify those decision criteria. And then the other half is bringing that information back inside GitLab to our team and leveraging the team to create highly differentiated solutions. So scoping is something that your SA friends will be helping you with. Uh, we also talk about technical evaluation and uh, perhaps a GitLab demonstration as well as getting the technical commit. So I encourage you to uh, come back and read this in more detail, but I wanted to draw attention to this information as it is uh, more in depth than what we have in our slide deck and aligned with our actual sales process. Thank you, hope you enjoyed this video.